What up, Moon Pies? Don't lie and say that you haven't been going back to watch Big Bang Theory again and again. If we're so attached to it, the show stars must have it pretty bad. For them, the show comes up in almost every interview, like our very own Penny in a recent podcast. So in this video, let's revisit Kaylee Cuoco's opening up about the Big Bang Theory and which episodes she'll watch. To begin with, it's been 15 years since Big Bang. Well, the actual Big Bang was nearly 14 million years ago when expansion started. Wait, we're talking about the sitcom and its theme song and that just can't get out of our heads. Would you believe it if we told you that the very first episode aired way back in 2007? It feels just like yesterday when we were introduced to Sheldon and company. Admittedly, some people weren't thrilled by his shenanigans, but the show slowly grew on everyone and soon became a popular watch. We saw the nerdy scientists live in their own world of comics, experiments, awkward social interactions, and Dr. Spock, to name a few. One semblance of normality, or the real world, was brought by the blonde neighbor we adore, Penny Hofstadter, previously Teller was a breath of fresh air for the boys. She said what we were all thinking, and that's why we related to her the most. Penny, aka Kaylee, has now moved on since the show ended in 2019. Obviously, that wasn't easy. She recently talked about it on the podcast Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend. Speaking to the host, the flight attendant star said that she's grown in front of the camera, right? We actually saw her grow up all these years. When the show started, Cuoco was the same age as her character, and she matured with her. Not many actors can say the same. So when asked about if she watches the show, her answer is totally understandable. Now, here's what Kaylee revealed about the episodes that she just can't watch. The blonde star said that she just can't watch the recent episodes, as in the last couple of seasons. It's all too raw for the actress, because going to that time brings all sorts of memories. We already know the cast was close-knit and became a family of its own. Leaving them and the show behind was super hard for the American actress, which is exactly why she spent the farewell months crying. Kaylee divulged this to Kelly Clarkson a couple of years back. She said that they knew a year before that this would be the final season. So, in the last six months, she was just, quote, hysterical and inconsolable to wrap up. It was a never-ending cascade for her, but the show had to end at some point, right? Yes, but Cuoco thought that it would be some 27 years or so. Long story short, leaving a set like home and co-stars like family was no easy feat. Still, that year-long coping made it possible for her to grieve and then to move on. Kaylee joked that she's like a shark that just keeps swimming, but never backwards. So, after the Big Bang chapter closed for her, she could move on to contrasting genre. Case in point, the flight attendant. Now we're seeing the 36-year-old actress in a completely new persona. Gone is the lovable Penny. Now she's a recovering alcoholic, stuck in some comic but mostly intense situations. They can get emotionally demanding for her. Adding on visiting an emotionally charged period of her life in the recent Big Bang episodes, that's a big no-no for Cuoco. But there are some episodes that she is down for. Of course, that doesn't mean the actress refuses to watch any of it again. The show holds too many precious memories to revisit, along with the farewell sadness. Everyone knows that Big Bang Theory is on like all the time. You turn on the TV and there's an episode airing. Even though she apologizes that it's on so much, the actress turned producer disclosed that yes, those episodes sometimes lure her in as well, but mainly the earlier ones. Seeing a young Kaylee really amuses her and gives her a good laugh. The early episodes were a good time for the Harley Quinn voice actor. The series was enjoying a newly found fame and her character was a hit with the masses. Also, that time was free of the heavy emotional weight of the ending episodes. What's more, Coco says that she can't even recognize her own voice at times in the early episodes. We've seen her mature from a young struggling actress slash waitress to a professional sales rep. Her physical appearance has changed from a baby face to an adult, which sometimes gets unbelievable for the actress herself. And how can we forget the aspiring Penny's cool boho outfits and hairstyles? Not gonna lie, we were her. Another point contributing to her being relatable. Young Penny was all the young girls with aggressive side parts and low-rise pants. In short, all the fashion trends then that are just cringe now. Like us, Kaylee can't let go of them, but she's one step ahead of us. Up next, Penny remembers everything that she wore. Yep, the California-born actress revealed the astonishing fact that she has a photographic memory during her interview with Conan. She can accurately list down which costumes she was wearing in which episodes, her funky hairstyle down to the lip gloss. Okay, we remember our young days, but not in this much detail. The way that she's telling us this makes us want to test her. But hold up, her skills have already been put to the test, and she got every answer right. That was when she and co-star Johnny Galecki did an after-show special with the show creator Chuck Lorre. They quizzed Kaylee on what she was wearing, and she got it all right. That's awesome and funny at the same time. Part of the reason why she likes watching the older episodes is her character's early fashion sense. How she describes it to O'Brien makes some fans think that she's mortified by it, yet she's a good sport at the same time, joking about it and laughing it off. But that doesn't take away the fact that it was a simpler time in the actress's life that drew her towards it. Embarrassing thoughts aside, she loves watching herself in the show. It makes her realize how 
how far she's come. Quite humbling and somewhat unimaginable for her. Kaylee calls her Big Bang journey an unbelievable ride. It'll always stay with her, and maybe in time, she can watch all the seasons again without bawling. We just loved her then, and in her incredible recent roles now. In other related news, Coco reflected on her toughest time. Right now, she's taking off and reaching new heights of success as the flight attendant Casey. Critics loved seeing her as a hot mess. The show even earned her a Golden Globe nomination. The audience was also in awe, seeing the depth of her acting in a completely new role. Season 2 of The Flight Attendant recently landed, and it is a hit. But Kaylee disclosed that it was filmed during some super dark days. The American star recently divorced her second husband, Carl Cook. Combined with her character's trauma and divorce, it became too much. It got to a point where she couldn't walk and developed a stress rash. Thankfully, upon realization, Kelly approached therapy and is now openly talking about it. She's now in a better place thanks to a blooming relationship with Tom Pelfrey, although she has sworn off marriage and just wants to have a long-lasting relationship. Now, after letting go of woes, we're gonna see her in a light romance. Just like how her personal life is looking up, Coco is out for love in her latest project. Now, the actress will romance SNL's Pete Davidson in a light-hearted comedy. This week, NBC's Peacock released a first look at the romantic comedy Meet Again. We have to admit, Pete is the perfect choice for it, and of course, Kaylee's got the comedic chops too. In the cutesy stills, the leads are looking doe-eyed in front of twinkly backgrounds. It's already pulling at our romantic heartstrings. Apparently, the plot is about falling in love at first sight, but not by fate. Kaylee Sheila is a time traveler, relishing the first sight charm over and over again. This would be interesting to see. It's airing on Peacock on September 21st, and we're buckled in for it. And finally, at least we have young Sheldon to keep us afloat. The great thing about Big Bang Theory's ending is that it left us with young Sheldon. We still have so much to learn about his background. So far, five seasons have already dropped, with the sixth in line soon. The air is getting pretty heavy back in Texas, with complicated storylines like George's affair, his impending death, and Mary's own potential affair. This is such a comprehensive look into Sheldon's past. Yes, we don't have young Leonard, Penny, and others here, but it gives us a perspective on why the adult Sheldon acts in specific ways. The audience can catch the Cooper family in their upcoming trials on September 29th of this year. You can first watch Kaylee shine, and then get back to the now serious plot lines of young Sheldon. And bazinga, that is a wrap. What do you think about Kaylee's choice of episodes? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.